non-invasive ventilation connections on the SLE6000 range with the intersurgical circuit. The SLE6000 can be used for non-invasive ventilation and high-flow oxygen therapy if these modules are installed on the ventilator. Non-invasive ventilation on the SLE6000 can be applied using dual-limb or single-limb patient circuit configurations, depending on the user's preference or clinical scenario. All non-invasive modes, including oxygen therapy, can be applied by simply adapting the SLE6000 patient circuit and using the appropriate patient interface for that mode. Nasal CPAP, NIPPV, triggered NIPPV, and nasal high-frequency oscillatory ventilation can be used with a dual-limb patient circuit configuration using the SLE MiniFlow adapter. Nasal CPAP and DuoPAP modes can be used with a single limb circuit configuration using first breath, inspire, or other nasal CPAP generators. Oxygen therapy can be used by using the nasal cannulas supplied by SLE. Dual limb, SLE 6000 intersurgical circuit. Connect an intersurgical SLE 6000 patient circuit to the ventilator. To connect the SLE mini flow to the patient circuit, Detach the inspiratory and expiratory tubes from the Y piece. Make sure that the yellow restrictor is still connected to the end of the inspiratory limb. Disconnect the lure connector at the proximal airway tube. Connect the three-way adapter with lure connection circuit to the end of the expiratory limb. This can be found in the SLE breathing circuit package. Now, Connect the proximal airway tube to the lure connection of the three-way adapter. Connect the inspiratory and expiratory limbs to the connections of the SLE mini-flow. Select the appropriate mini-flow accessories for your patient and you are ready to use dual-limb non-invasive ventilation. Single-limb. In single-limb mode, the expiratory limb is not used, so first, Disconnect the expiratory limb from the ventilator end. Disconnect the tube that connects the yellow restrictor from the rest of the inspiratory limb of the SLE6000 patient circuit. Disconnect the lure connector at the proximal airway tube. Put the remaining part of the patient circuit to one side. Connect the inspiratory limb to the inspiratory connector of the NCPAP single limb generator. Make sure that the yellow restrictor is not in place. Connect the proximal airway tube to the proximal sensor connector of the NCPAP single limb generator. Select the appropriate NCPAP single limb generator accessories for your patient and you are ready to use single limb non-invasive ventilation with your SLE6000. Oxygen therapy. In oxygen therapy mode, the expiratory limb and proximal airway tube are not used. So first, disconnect both from the ventilator end. Disconnect the tube that contains the yellow restrictor from the rest of the inspiratory limb of the SLE6000 patient circuit. Use the C4318 adapter that comes with the F&P cannula supplied by SLE. Connect the adapter to the inspiratory limb. Attach the cannula to the adapter. Make sure the yellow restrictor is not connected. You're now ready to use high-flow oxygen therapy mode.